here's a good one for you um, the usual story lovely chocolate box cottage looks great doesn't it uh, yeah until you look closer and you see the cement render down the bottom and you see the, the layer of uh, cement along here and this is where they, they put their cement render on trap all the moisture on down the bottom still being covered up with cement and it runs round and oh dear it got wet well you know why did it get wet ground level's too high for a start there's um, concrete all round here you'll notice the ground level out there is actually higher than the internal floor level you can see the, the back of a chair there so that the ground inside is actually quite a bit lower than the stuff out here so of course the bottom of the house is going to be quite damp and wet but hey we've got even more this is these uh, stupid uh, Nappen tubes, Shriver, Holland, whatever, you know, we got these supposed damp proofing uh, tube things that they stick in the wall. You can see these silly things um, <coughs> sticking out the wall there. Completely useless. <coughs> um, and <coughs> what I think is so funny about these, they, um, they have these tubes and they, they are, um, the, the theory is that they are put into the wet brickwork and the idea is that because they're in wet brickwork uh, there's a hole in there so this hole is supposed to evaporate water from the brickwork that's the theory behind them um, there's only two things wrong with that what's wrong with just taking this cement render off here and then letting the brickwork dry out but oh no uh, we're going to make lots of money out of the unsuspecting public because we're going to put these wonderful inventions in so <clears throat> we chuck them into the brickwork when all we actually need to do is take the cement render off but the amazing thing is they fit them you see this is this hollow tube thing they fit them with guess what cement so no moisture can get out anyway. They're completely sealed into the render with this incredibly hard, I don't know if you can see this, but hard cement that they're chopped in with. So there's absolutely no way that any of that can breathe. And you can see even where I'm cutting or breaking the cement away, I don't know if you can see here, but this is all wet. So it's not even evaporating around the front. See that? There. It's just wet nap and tube. It's muddy. It's doing absolutely nothing. So, for anybody that's even considering using Shriver or Holland or nap and tubes or any of these stupid tube systems that's supposed to be f sold as a uh, a damp proofing technique just have a look at this and just see what an absolute lot of tosh the whole thing is rather than drilling holes in and fitting these why don't you just take the cement render off in the first place and let the brickwork dry out hey ho a hell of a lot cheaper and it doesn't destroy the place so there you go that's yet another one uh, another damp proofing fraud exposed